Welcome back to WTOL 11, your day where we love local and with 2022 creeping up on us, we need to make something sweet and make sure this new year is luckier than the last. Brianna Stewart from Jira's Heavenly Sweet has an idea to bring us a little bit of a sweet sensation and good fortune. So Brianna, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Good morning to you. Ah, I am so excited for what you are about to create for us this morning. You said it's gonna bring us perhaps some luck? Maybe a little bit. I was on the internet and saw that you're supposed to eat round baked goods on New Year's Eve because it's supposed to bring around another year of good luck to you. So mm. I thought baked donuts, it's a little bit healthier than fried donuts. Let's do it. <laughs> I've never had a baked donut. I can honestly say that, so I'm excited. Oh, well perfect. We're gonna try them out today. So I have a wet mixture of some sour cream, an egg, some vanilla flavoring, and then I have a little bit of sugar here that I'm gonna pour right in. Mix that all together until it's a very light color, until it's beaten together really well, just like that. Mm. And then I have a dry mixture of some flour, some baking soda, and then I also saw on the internet that cinnamon is supposed to be um, a little superstitious for having success. So let's have a successful 2022. Have some I'm cinnamon here in for there. it. Absolutely. And then a little bit of some rich dark cocoa that I'm gonna pour right in there with it as well. Stir that all together until it's completely mixed up and chocolatey and battery and good like that. Ugh. Yes, keep going and going. And then ordinarily you can buy a donut pan on Amazon. I think they're at uh, Walmart maybe. There's some silicone donut pans. There are some metal donut pans. Whatever you want to get is fine. But if you don't have that, which most people don't, I know I'm a baker so I have some extra tools around, you can use a muffin tin and oh. take a little bit of foil, wrap it around your finger, place that in the middle. Now I don't have some foil on me today, but I'm still gonna show you how to pipe these into the, do into the um, muffin tin. So you're gonna take your batter that you just mixed up, and you're gonna have a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, you can use like a sandwich bag or a, a freezer bag. Perfect. Put that into a cup so it'll stand up for you really nicely, and then pour that right on into it. Like that. It's gonna be kind of thick, but don't worry. It's gonna be beautiful when they bake up. 